Hi, this is Megan Keene with Avid Artist Relations here on the Warner Brothers lot for Avid's Committed to the Professional event. Tonight was meant to show the filmmaking community that we're not only dedicated to the professional, but also listening. We kicked off with some opening comments from CEO Gary Greenfield. We're here because the professionals in the film community, in the theatrical community, TV community, and the sound community are all about what AVID is about, and it's about you all being our lifeblood. And we're going to be here to listen and to talk. And we're going to focus mostly on the listening. And attendees also got some insight from editors Alan Edward Bell and Jonathan Alberts. When you're on a movie with the deadlines we have and producers and you know the director, it's very difficult just to do the job. So I um, saw the smart tools and I saw some of the demonstrations when you guys did the technology preview for 5.0. I saw the AMA and I went, finally I'm going to be able to get back to script sync. Coming back to Avid for me was like coming home. To finish off the presentations, we got a sneak peek of Avid's future strategy from VP of Creative Professionals, Paul Feckler. I get to talk to you not only about where we've been recently and what we've been up to, but also what we're planning on for the future. Um, and that's kind of a cool thing to do because we live and breathe Media Composer every day. We're going to tell you about what we've heard from customers. We're going to let you tell us, are we on the right track? Are these the things we should be focusing on? And we want to hear back from you. A 64-bit architecture is absolutely part of our strategy for the future. It's a necessity. We will lead the industry in 3D workflows and editing. And we will innovate where we don't see much innovation happening. So along with Avid's DX hardware, our strategy is to create a truly open architecture that any third-party manufacturer can create a hardware solution that works with Media Composer. But what's also part of a foundation for the future is a new UI design and a modernized interface. But what we're not going to do is more important. We are not going to sacrifice the powerful tools, the editing paradigm, and the muscle memory that every editor relies on. We wanted to give those of you who weren't able to join us here tonight a little insight into people's reactions towards Avid's future strategy. So check it out. I'm feeling very uh, excited and confident about the future of Media Composer and uh, what I'm going to be doing with it. What stuck out in my mind about the presentation is that Avid really listens to the people that use the software. To me, what it comes down to is I heard a lot of stuff tonight. Now it's a matter of looking at action. And as long as, you know, what I've heard is now starting to be fulfilled, now we're talking about a company who's actually being honest. I've been working on Final Cut Pro for about six years now, professionally. And recently, it's been an interesting transition in my life. Uh, I felt kind of abandoned, and uh, I came here tonight to learn a little bit more about Avid. Uh, obviously, I've heard about Avid, but haven't had a whole lot of experience with it firsthand. And, it was very, very informative. It was good to see that someone cared. It was kind of nice to uh, to have that. And really what was established on it is that Avid is kind of the pioneer in what's really listening to the people and, um, and, and carving out a new, a new path. Although Avid's educational pricing isn't a new announcement, students in the audience were really excited at the $295 price point with four years of free upgrades. As a student who's just trying to learn um, and is on a budget, knowing that I will need to learn these tools when I get out of school, I will need to know how to use Avid and to use Pro Tools, um, it's really extremely helpful that it's affordable for us to get it now. Another great aspect of tonight's event was the attendance of third-party partners that will be factoring into Avid's future, showing Avid's commitment to openness. It's great when you know we can all work together and create this kind of a big community push towards you know this openness that is you know really exciting to a lot of people right now. The attitude of openness really helps because everyone's workflow is a little bit different. People want to be able to pick and choose. They want to have some flexibility in their options. It's not always one capability that's going to fit everyone. So having options, having that flexibility really opens things up for people and I think that really makes them feel a little more comfortable about a choice. So we're starting to wrap things up here, but tonight was a huge success. And I just want to remind you, if you are an FCP user and you'd like to add Media Composer to your suite, you can do that for $9.95 until September 30th. 
Just go to avid.com slash FCP promo. Thanks for watching.